It's the blast from the past no one saw coming. A relationship that was deeply meaningful. It was like the moon landing. Is Benifer back? I've made plenty of mistakes. The tabloids have been relentless, claiming he's a cheater. Will Ben break Jen's heart again? I'm a child of divorce. I think it was right for my mother to ask my father to move out when I was 11. I made some money, $8,000. It was put into an account that was supposed to be for my college money. And my father's alcoholism was quite severe. He got fired, he couldn't pay his rent, and he asked me for money. He had a lot of problems. He wasn't able to handle being a father. I always said, that'll never be me. I'm never going to do that. I didn't want to get divorced. I didn't want to be a divorced person. I really didn't want to be a split family with my children. Ben thought he would have his perfect family with Jennifer Lopez. The whole kind of Benifer thing happened. Oh, gosh. That, yes. It was like, it was like the moon landing. And she was very much like the kind of girl that I went to high school with. Same kind of background and same kind of upbringing and same kind of family and same kind of house. Are you engaged? Yes. He was like, I just wanted you to have something that nobody else would have. I just admire him in every way. I'm a caretaker. I like to make sure that he has everything he needs. While Jennifer was taking care of Ben, he was obsessed with how other people saw him. Me dating Jennifer Lopez happened to be that tabloid story at the time. They needed something to write about, and we were that thing. And people were just saying, you're worthless, you're talented, you're a hack, you're a cad, you're a nobody, you're shit. It was bad. It seeps in no matter how much you try to keep it out. It was a lot for both of us. I got to a point in my life where I was really down, really confused. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez have broken off their engagement. I never felt heartbroken until we called off that wedding. It was really devastating to me. But within five months, Jennifer had remarried, and Ben threw himself into becoming the dad he always wanted to be. I have two little girls. I'm yeah. madly in love with them. My wife is a saint and does so much of the work because I'm inept and she's a genius. He, he actually he kind of excels uh, really? at playing baby doll. He can do it without using any energy at all. He can sit there and be almost asleep, and they think they're having a, an incredible <laughs> game with him. <laughs> I have a, the best family. I could not be luckier. I wish it would just stop now and I could be really happy just right here. But while his wife was caring for their kids, Ben was off being irresponsible. Affleck and the nanny left together for Las Vegas. Come home and see your three children and don't be at the casino 24-7. Is Ben Affleck really dating his ex-nanny? She's a 28-year-old stunning high-end Beverly Hills caregiver. Though the tabloids have been relentless, claiming he's a cheater. He has fallen off the wagon in a big way. And I start to drink every day. I come home from work and I start to drink and I just sit there and drink until I pass out on the couch. He's not hiding this from his kids but it's obvious to the family that there's a problem. I started to drink more and more and more and it was really hard for me to accept that that meant I was an alcoholic. It felt hopeless. It felt like a disaster. There was an intervention at his house, a very dramatic one. Jennifer Gardner and Ben Affleck are getting divorced. Ben's immaturity had broken his family. Who pays for the sins of the parents? Uh, often it's the children. If there's something that your child is suffering, that's a level of pain that is just not easily gotten past, not easily forgiven, not easily forgotten, and it's, it's hard. Ben realized he had turned into his dad. For me, seeing my dad was just, he was drunk every day and that was just life. And as that got worse, that was really, really painful. I wish he had been sober during those formative years, which, is one of the hard parts of being the child of an alcoholic. Do you think, what if my dad gets drunk? What if he does something stupid? And it upset me because it meant I wasn't who I thought I was. Ben had to take responsibility and be the example he never had. It was either like gonna be up to me or it wasn't gonna happen. I have to be the man I wanna be at this point. I don't have any more room for failure of that kind. The process of recovering from alcoholism has been really instructive and I was forced to really honestly look at myself, my failings, to really find accountability. The only real obituary that carries any weight for me is the one that I'm gonna leave in the heart and the mind of my children. I took the last half of the year off and I just got to be dad, drive them to school, pick them up, go to the swim meet. That's where the parenting happens. It's in the cracks. It's in the moments where they say something profound or they talk about how they're really feeling about something and it's like, that's where you get to be the parent. That's the joy of it. That's what I don't want to miss. 
Once Ben had become the dad he needed to be, he reunited with the one that got away. I would love to have a relationship that was deeply meaningful and one to which I could be deeply committed. It's the blast from the past no one saw coming. Making headlines again, as so many are asking, is Benifer back? The reunion allegedly started with Ben sending JLo love letters. The prospect of an older, wiser Benifer certainly has social media buzzing. I've made plenty of mistakes, some big, some small. You learn so much from things when they go wrong. By taking responsibility, Ben brought his family closer than ever. I'm carrying responsibility that's not just to myself, but that's to my children. Someone's going to ask them, hey, what kind of guy was your dad? Jennifer Garner posting this tribute to her co-parent and ex, Ben Affleck, writing, our kids are lucky to have a dad who looks at them the way you look at them and loves them the way you love them. I used to think from the point of view of a, a child who went through a difficult childhood. And now I think about it from the point of view of a father. How do we really live our lives the best way? How do we recover from adversity? This doesn't have to be who you are. It doesn't have to last. It's about how do we aspire to be better. Having all of these crazy thoughts and afraid, like anxiety. Why do you think that the relationship didn't work? I don't talk about it. Oh, these are my honeys. You're a pig. You feel like you're gonna die. You feel like you failed. You feel like no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't make it work. What are you afraid of? Being alone. 